Disclaimer, this video is gonna be probably pretty long. I'm gonna talk trying fast. I'm gonna be all over the place, but Miss Atomic Bomb by the Killers. Thank you for the request. I had to tab it out a little bit here, so I'm gonna be looking at my own sheet, so sorry if my eyes aren't with ya. Um, how I tabbed it is I envisioned myself playing with the band, having the acoustic just off to the side, playing it with my speakers. So that's the way I see it. So the intro, I'm not really playing it too much. But if I had to, I would pick this progression of stick it on this G for a little bit, and you can hear the chord change, go to a B minor, to a C, to an E minor, to another C, to another E minor, to this D, to where you climb up to this G. Like I said, I apologize, I'm gonna be talking very fast because this is gonna be long. And I'm not gonna go through the chords pretty in depth like I usually do. It's just G, B minor, C, D, and E minor. I'm gonna talk about some different things going on here, starting off with the first verse. So, like any killer song, we start off pretty soft, so I'm just going simple strums here with You were standing with your girlfriends in the streets Falling back on forever I wonder what you came to be I was new in town, the boy with the eager eyes Alright, so we're going to back up really quick, and what did I do there? Well, instead of doing all chord changes, I just did single notes on this G. So you're going to keep that G shape and you're going to do three, two, open on the A or the fifth string and then two, three on the sixth string. Okay? And that's all going to come from, I wonder where you came to be. I was new and found the boy with the eager eyes. Now it's going to change just a little bit here. Instead of going back up to that tonic, instead of going back up to this G, the third um, fret relative to the capo on the sixth string, we're going to actually go to this two and then just go right quickly to this C when the line is, and then when I look back on those neon nights. So um, let's just do that walk really quick. I believe this school rules lies. Now, it's hard to like slow it down and have it make sense. So, the only suggestion that I have for this is the C before the E minor is going to have no words. And I'm going to try and do it in time very quickly here. And let's just go back to that walk. Oblivious school goes lies. In time, here it is. And when I look back. get what I mean. If not, please rewind it as I'm just going to keep moving forward. So now we have the chorus and the chord progression that you have to pay attention to here. It's very easy. The chorus is going to come up a lot. This chord progression is Mr. Atomic Bomb. <laughs> And then it goes racing, um, racing shadows in the moonlight. So the same chord progression of G, B minor, C, E minor, C, E minor, D back up to that G. Now after they're done with that chorus, they're gonna come up to this G, but they're gonna build up to something more. So go with them with this something like this. Those first couple of strings, and then you're gonna hear that explosion of sounds. That's when you start the chord progression over again on the G minor okay so hopefully that makes sense just play along with it and just remember going with that C and then it's gonna be two times um, so now the second verse is gonna be the same chords right same chords but just in a different spot. 
Sorry if that confuses you. So second verse is going to start off like this on that G once again, and it's going to go to that B minor. But now it's going to go to a C, to a G, and let's just go through it. Caster. You got like a double chord, like a more oomph to it, right? So that's the first part of the second verse. Now they go back up to almost the same pattern. We go up to this G. Feels it like a dagger buried deep in the back. You want to work out Maybe confusing, hopefully not. So, back up to that second part here. We have that G, it's gonna get a little bit faster, and then just do that B minor again. And your soul is innocent to that C, but she kissed him and she painted a black G. And then we have a D to a C to a little walk of this B, B over C, to this E minor, holding on to your life, D. So, once again, ba ba ba. Okay, so we have right after holding for your life, all that I wanted was a little touch. So we have C, 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 C. And I thought I was experimenting by moving that C up to that D, just moving it up two frets. Um, you can experiment with it. I don't think it sounds that great along with the song. So all I wanted was a little touch, a little tender. that we remembered of G, B minor, C, E minor, C, E minor, D, and again, now for this little break here, similar to the intro of me saying, eh, I'm not doing much. I don't think there's a sound for us to like come in and like do stuff. Combined with the fact of like, uh, it's hard to hear of like what chord should I be really playing. I do hear a lead guitar doing something with this B flat chord. What I suggest, what I may be doing sometimes is just doing random stuff with this G very slightly, just maybe even finger picking it, maybe just doing a couple notes. Just something and then it's just gonna build up again and go to that same cadence of the chorus of Mr. Atomic <laughs> go that until they fade out so hopefully that helped again thank you for the suggestion it is a promise on this channel that we get to your request the same day hopefully if you haven't already please subscribe leave a like do all that stuff you know it's free it's easy it's one click it helps the channel and it gets more people to watch and it gets more songs that i can do and learn and listen to and love i like the suggestions sometimes I haven't even heard of the songs sometimes, and they're great songs. So that's it. Um, please rewind. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments.